Hello, this is Ari with Modern Telecom. I'm going to show you how to use the Fanville X7 phones when in an intercom environment. So when you receive calls from the intercom, I'll demonstrate over here. The phones will ring. When you, when you answer the phone, you will then see the video of who's on the screen. To let that person in, you can push the digit one. Shortly after pressing one, you can watch to make sure the person actually uh, walks through the door and then the phone will automatically disconnect. If you want to call back to the front door, you do have some speed dials here that you can reach the front door or the back door directly. It connects you immediately once you've pushed that button. You can then press one to unlock the door or just hang up if you don't want to let anybody in. All right, on to some of the phone features that you would use on here. So to actually call an outside number, you just go ahead and dial. And if you pick up the receiver or just press the dial button, that'll complete the call. You've reached Modern Telecom. Thanks for calling. You've reached it. So I'm going to give you another uh, examples here on how to transfer uh, calls. So if you receive a call to this phone, you want to transfer it to somebody else. So I'll, for example, on this phone, dial the other phone. There we go. And now I want to transfer this phone to a different phone. So I could press the transfer button over here. And then I could type the three digit extension of the other phone that I want to transfer to. Or if I see them on the speed dial list here, I can immediately press that button instead. So for example, I could push this button here, which will go to the uh, clinical supervisor, and if I push that, it's going to bounce the call over to this phone now. So if there's other extensions you want to transfer this to that are not on this list, we can again, we can go transfer. We can hit the more button, and that will reveal additional speed dial entries over here. So we could, for example, click this one over here, and that will transfer the call over to here. All right, so to recap how to get into those speed dials, down here there's that more button. When you push this, you then get this springboard, which gives you all the additional extensions. And when you push this to hide, it gets you back to the home screen with the home wallpaper, where we have a couple of uh, just priority extensions here. We also have a paging button, so when we push this, This is a test page. Testing, one, two, three. This is a test page. Testing, one, two, three. All right. Next, I'm going to go into what call parking and hold functions are. So if you're on a call, I'll get on a call right here. All right. When you use the hold button, you can then hang up the receiver. This call is on hold only on this phone and can't be retrieved from any of the other phones in the organization. So that's basically called a private hold. We can resume the call. Oh, sorry about that. And um, only from this phone. Now, if we wanted to place the person on hold but be able to retrieve the call from a different phone, that's called parking. So we would, instead of using the hold button, we would park the call here. So I'll push a parking spot. Now that red light is flashing and this phone is disconnected. I'll hang up the receiver, and if I look at some of the other phones, you'll see that same red icon is flashing on all the phones. That's indicating that this now could be retrieved from any phone in the organization by going over to it and pressing that park button. And now I've retrieved that call. Likewise, I could park it on a different spot, move over to a different phone, and retrieve it. Pressing the end button would end the call. To access your voicemail, there is an envelope button right here. Pushing that just gets you directly into your personal voicemail box. You are calling your mailbox for the first time. All right, and if you don't want to be disturbed, let's say you're in a meeting and don't want this phone to ring, then you would use this DND stands for do not disturb. If you push that button, you'll see a red stop sign appears at the top of the screen. And on all the other phones in the organization, your light will light up uh, yellow to let everybody else in the organization know that you're not to be disturbed. So your phone will no longer ring. Pressing it again, turns that off. All right, lastly, I'll show you how to get into the company directory. 
when you push contacts and then LDAP, this downloads a company-wide address book into the screen. You have to use the up and down arrows here to scroll through the list of all the people in the organization. Don't use your finger to swipe like you would your smartphone. The first button you press is going to be the one that it dials, so it doesn't quite work like uh, swiping does on a, on a smartphone. But let's say I'll go up here to, uh, to one of these uh, screens and push that. That immediately then dials. So that's a local extension that we've dialed. All right, that's about it. Any questions you have, let us know. Thanks for watching.